did you do? I don't know what I did. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna talk about creativity. Nope. No, we're not. We're gonna talk about whether or not you're an artist. <laughs> Hola, you amazing artist. So what is an artist? How do you define that? Rafi's rambles. Rafi's rambles. Rafi's rambles. I expected it to be phrased a little differently. Well, how did you expect it to be phrased? <laughs> can I call myself an artist? Oh, can I call myself an artist? Yes. <laughs> Nobody can tell you anything different. <laughs> that's my answer. That's a good answer. That well, I mean, that's true. That's basically it. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. So we've got a question from Sarah. Falkenberg. This is such a cool last name. This may be a stupid question, but when is it okay to call yourself an artist? I draw anime inspired art in my free time, but professionally I'm studying to become an accountant, financial advisor, which is what I want to do. So since I'm only creating as a hobby, is it still okay to call myself an artist? Short answer is yes. Yes, indeed. Long answer is who freaking knows, man? So this is actually this is actually a question that a lot of my peers and I will disagree on on whether or not you can call yourself an artist. I have one friend in particular that comes to mind that I think that he just argues for the sake of arguing because he likes to philosophize and hear himself talk. I think I think a lot of people get too concerned about what other people think of them as far as like whether or not they call them an artist or they could call themselves an artist. And I think that there's not enough you know, messing with people. Where somebody asks you, oh, you're an artist, so what kind of art do you do? A good answer would be performance art. And then just get dead silent. And then like let 30 seconds go by till they're super uncomfortable and then be like, like I just did some right now. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And then give a bow. Truthfully, I think that it comes down to whether or not you're brave enough to call yourself an artist. That's pretty much what it comes down to, at least in my mind. It's such a relative term and it comes down to like an individual opinion of what a person may believe that an artist is. I have a friend that owns a landscaping company and he considers himself a artist. And I would have to agree after looking at some of his creations and seeing the passion that he has for putting those things together. Can I say that everybody would consider him an artist? Not necessarily, but that does not make him not an artist. Those people would be arguing semantics and at that point I'm like, eh, whatever. Yeah, everybody has an opinion on what it means to be an artist and like most opinions are just full of shit. If you feel like an artist, call yourself a I'm artist. Yeah, you can call yourself a cantaloupe. For... <laughs> <laughs> I challenge you to be like, I'm an artist. And then if someone's like, yeah, but what do you do for money? To tell them, oh, I'm a cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> I think it has to do with judgment. Um, but I also think it has to do with your own self-judgment. Because what usually happens when people find out that you're an artist is they ask you all kinds of questions. Like, how long have you done art? What kind of art do you do? Can you draw my face? Hey, I would love a portrait of one of my kids. Have you sold any of your art? And these questions, if your answer is no to any of them, and you don't feel secure as an artist, they might actually discourage you from calling yourself an artist because you'd be afraid of what people would ask you. We can all agree that Van Gogh was an artist, yeah. right? Yeah. Isn't it true that he didn't sell one single painting while he was alive? Right. Not one? Not one. No one. I think he gave one away to a friend of his. If in your mind you have this stereotypical idea of what an artist is supposed to be, just like a lot of people have this stereotypical stere... And if you don't meet that, then you might think that other people won't perceive you as an artist. And so you might be a little discouraging to yourself to call yourself an artist. Do you have an easy time calling yourself an artist? Me? Yeah. I make art every single day. Every day. Every day. And my family, all of my family are cantaloupes. Yeah, so, they. Know, I just follow the family trade, but I really love to paint. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because like you're also a musician, and yeah. a music artist is a musician. Yeah, and so I probably write one song that I'm pretty proud of, like every year. <laughs> How would you feel if somebody came up to you and said, well, you're not a musician, you don't 
play music? I do music. So, <laughs> what? That's good. I like that. I do music. So what? what? What's interesting about that is that I do not call myself a musician, even though I play guitar, have written an album, and have performed our music. And for whatever reason, whatever small stigma is going on in my brain, I have a really difficult time calling myself a musician. I think it's the same thing for artists. There might be this prerequisite of what it means to be an artist, and because in your mind you don't meet that, you feel like you can't call yourself an artist, or you feel weird calling yourself an artist. I would define an artist as somebody who has a desire to create. Oh, that's good. That's mm -hmm. good. Desire to create. If your desire to create is so strong that you are actually creating art. Yeah, if you're not actually making any, then... Maybe not. Then maybe you're an idea man. <laughs> <laughs> I just think about this stuff and other people just go, they could just take it and run with it. <laughs> If you are a creative person and you are physically doing art, then call yourself an artist. Call yourself a creative. Call yourself an out-of-the-box thinker. Call yourself whatever it is that you want to call yourself. And don't allow anybody else to dissuade you, whether or not it's their opinions that they verbalize or the opinions that you think that they might have of you. Don't let that dissuade you from calling yourself something that makes you feel empowered and good. And that's it, you guys. Hopefully that answered some question. I'm not even sure. Thank you, Sarah, for your awesome question. And if you guys want to see some of her work, just follow the link in the description box below. You know, and you're an artist, even though you want to be a financial advisor, but you do art, so you could call yourself an artist. I am an artist with numbers, and I am an artist with paint. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See my glory. When I was growing up, my dentist was a magician. He and his wife were both career dentist, and a magician husband and wife team. Dude. And they had no qualms about calling themselves magicians. You can definitely be an accountant artist. Yes, you can. I am curious to know what your experience has been calling yourself an artist or what other people have called you. Leave those in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are totally freaking awesome. I absolutely and completely adore you. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more like this, go ahead and subscribe. And that's, that's it. Thanks again, you guys. Stay creative and awesome. Say goodbye, Klee. Good day. Adios.